Zimbabwe's Manangagwa wins first post-Mugabe election and army tank patrols on a street in Harare during protests by opposition party supporters Wednesday, August 1, 2018. Hundreds of angry opposition supporters outside Zimbabwe's electoral commission were met by riot police firing tear gas as the country awaited the results of Monday's presidential election, the first after the fall of longtime leader Robert Mugabe. AP Photo, Mujahid Safodian, Harare, Zimbabwe, AP, Zimbabwe's President Emerson Mnangagwa won election Friday with just over 50% of the ballots as the ruling party maintained control of the government in the first vote since the fall of longtime leader Robert Mugabe. Mnangagwa received 50.8% of the vote while main opposition challenger Nelson Kamiza received 44.3%. The opposition is almost certain to challenge the results in the courts or in the streets. While Election Day was peaceful in a break from the past, deadly violence on Wednesday against people protesting alleged vote rigging reminded many Zimbabweans of the decades of military-backed repression under Mugabe. Zimbabwe's president says he is humbled by his win. Though we may have been divided at the polls, we are united in our dreams, Menangagwa said on Twitter. This is a new beginning. Let us join hands, in peace, unity. Western election observers who were banned in previous votes have expressed concern at the military's excessive force in the capital, Harare. Their assessments of the election are crucial to the lifting of international sanctions on a country whose economy collapsed years ago. Shortly before the Election Commission's announcement, Morgan Kamichi, the chief agent for Kamiza's opposition alliance, took the stage and said his party totally rejects the results and said he had not signed the election results. Police escorted him from the room. Later Kamichi said the elections were fraudulent and everything has been done illegally. He said he had refused an electoral commission request to sign papers certifying Menangagwa's win. We're not part of it, said Kamichi, adding that the opposition would be challenging the election in the courts. Commission Chair Priscilla Chigumba urged the country to move on with the hopeful spirit of Election Day and beyond the blemishes of Wednesday's chaos. May God bless this nation and its people. With the military still deployed in Harare, the capital's streets were quiet following the announcement of Menangagwa's victory. By the center where the election results were announced, Charity Menierouk, who teaches political science at the University of Zimbabwe, said she was delighted. There is continuity, stability, Menierouk said. Zimbabwe is poised for nation-building. The signs that Menangagwa's election will be disputed appears to deepen a political crisis that was worsened by Wednesday's violence in Harare as the military swept in with gunfire to disperse opposition supporters alleging vote rigging. The death toll rose to six, with 14 injured, police said, and 18 people were arrested at the offices of the main opposition party amid tensions over a vote that was supposed to restore trust in Zimbabwe after decades of Mugabe's rule. While Menangagwa and the ruling party accused the opposition of inciting the violence, the opposition, human rights activists and international election observers condemned the excessive force used against protesters and appealed to all sides to exercise restraint. Police raided the headquarters of Kamisa's Movement for Democratic Change Party while a lawyer's group said Kamisa was being investigated for allegedly inciting violence. He and several others are suspected of the crimes of possession of dangerous weapons and public violence, according to a copy of a search warrant seen by the Associated Press. Kamiza, however, said police seized computers and were looking for what he called evidence that his party had gathered a vote rigging by Menangagwa's party. The evidence already had been moved to a safe house, he said. Menangagwa called for an independent investigation into Wednesday's violence, saying those responsible should be identified and brought to justice. Menangagwa was a longtime Mugabe confidant before his firing in November led his allies in the military to step in and push Mugabe to resign after 37 years in power. Thousands of jubilant Zimbabweans celebrated in the streets of Harare, greeting the military with selfies and cheers. 
Since taking office, the 75-year-old Menangagwa has tried to recast himself as a voice of reform, declaring that Zimbabwe was open for business and inviting long-banned Western election observers to observe Monday's vote, which he pledged would be free and fair. A credible election after past votes were marred by violence against the opposition and alleged irregularities is crucial for the lifting of international sanctions and for the badly needed foreign investment to help Zimbabwe's long-collapsed economy revive. Menangagwa himself remains under U.S. sanctions. While Monday's election has been widely judged as peaceful with a high turnout, the deadly violence that erupted on Wednesday brought back chilly memories of decades of repression under Mugabe. It was a reminder, as opposition leader Kamiza declared Thursday, that we have removed Mugabe but not Mugabeism. The military deployment was the first time that soldiers had appeared in the streets of the capital since Mugabe's resignation. Some Harare residents expressed frustration and exhaustion at the dramatic change from November's exuberant expression of hope to the current tensions. We are a peaceful nation, said 29-year-old Cephas Gavanga of the latest chaos. We don't deserve the death we saw, underscore 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 follow African news at https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash app underscore Africa copyright copyright 2018 The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, written or redistributed.